much for taking part in the trial. It's, all right. it's called the breath biopsy, a new weapon in the war against cancer. So you're just going to breathe into this yeah. for about 10 minutes and it's going to collect a sample in these tubes. Rebecca Coldrick's one of 1,500 people, some already with cancer, whose breath is being collected by researchers. She has a condition called Barrett's esophagus that could eventually turn into cancer. The test requires patients to breathe into a breathalyzer for 10 minutes. The device collects airborne molecules given off as waste by the cancer cells. These are then sent off to a laboratory for further analysis. It's much less invasive and long term it would be a lot better. I wouldn't have to be coming every couple of years for an endoscopy. So you wouldn't have the pain 15 minutes and then you're home again without any sedation. Scientists are hoping to determine whether different types of cancer give different readings. Early detection can significantly increase people's chance of survival. I think it's a revolutionary idea. Most cancers are detected quite late and the only way we're going to really make inroads into improving outcomes from cancer is by te detecting it much earlier. So we're really passionate in Cambridge about finding new technologies that could revolutionise the way that we detect cancer at a very early stage, right at the point of a GP surgery. Globally, one in every six deaths is due to cancer. Last year, the disease killed an estimated nine and a half million people. The technology will be tested over a two-year period. If proven, it could be used around the world within only a few years. A simpler, cheaper, quicker way to tackle one of the world's deadliest diseases. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera.